Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I have one of the most mysterious citrus fruit I've ever encountered. It's a gloomy stormy day on the beautiful island of Gran Canaria and like in most citrus growing areas when you go to the local market and small shops you find quite funny citrus. You find the normal standardized uh, stuff which is traded on a large scale worldwide but then you also find those country varieties well usually most of them are quite normal you get bumpy or strangely shaped greenish lemons you get bumpy thick skinned and in this case quite uh, chunky spotty mandarins actually this almost looks like a bitter orange and not like a mandarin. You get green or sometimes yellow limes, but from time to time you get stuff which you cannot really place. Why? Well, citrus, they like to hybridize. They do hybridize like crazy. They hybridize so much that this is actually a problem in some citrus plantations. When you have a lemon or orange or mandarin plantation, you get you get some fruit which you cannot really attribute to the species you're actually growing, to the citrus fruit we're actually growing, and those usually go into stuff like uh, juice production or um, citrus concentrate or citrus flavor production. Yeah, that happens on the big plantations. So the small plantations, they end up on the market. And they can be quite interesting, like I remember in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, in Southeast Asia, once I saw a whole box full of, full of strange lime hybrids. The crazy thing is that this guy was trying to sell them to me for some crazy prices, like a euro or two per tiny piece, in a country where you get kilograms of citrus fruit for a euro. Or I would have bought like 20 of them and tried them. Here I'm on the island of Gran Canaria, and in one of the small supermarkets, those things here were sold as limes. Lima. Look at them. This is not a lime. This is flat like a mandarin. It has this pack which sometimes... Yeah, I remember the, the lemon tree of my grandparents had a lot of those. It's not like a tangelo. A tangelo has the pack here where the, uh, where the peruncle is attached. Those things, they have a bump on the bottom like some lemons sometimes have and also they have this thing sticking out of it so very strange shape for a lime but there were well a mixture of ripe yellow ones and like half ripe green ones i think there was not a single really green one this is like the greenest i could find sorry for the gloomy weather but i'm i'm lucky i can do the video outdoors because it's raining most of the time <coughs> well they looked interesting enough for me to buy them. They were also quite cheap, 1 euro 40, that's a little bit over a dollar 70 or so. Well, for example, normal lemons, well, the lemons were also a local country variety, the lemons were 1 euro 80. So those were almost a quarter cheaper than the lemons. Well, so I bought almost a kilogram of them. And then I asked, what type of limes are those? And they said, yeah, sometimes like grafted on mandarin. Well, I mean, this would explain the, the shape. But usually grafting doesn't work like this. Yeah, the, the rootstock can influence the, the fruit, but not that much. Well, and then I asked, is it a hybrid? He said, yes, yes, a hybrid. And it's also here from the village of La Aldea. And so, yeah, I don't want to try all, all those fruit in the same video. Well, the, the lemons and the limes will be sour. I don't know what this is. If it's interesting enough, I'll make a, another video about it, if it doesn't taste just like a normal mandarin. But this stuff here, I opened a couple of them. I opened the ripe one, fully yellow, basically the color of a lemon. And then I opened the kind of unripe one. And when I tried them, Well, the flavor is like that of a lemon, but there is no trace of sourness. Mm. 
maybe the most minuscule trace of sourness, but there is also almost no sweetness. It's quite bland. Very juicy, as you can see. Very thin skin, small seeds. A big amount of juice, but the juice is bland. The juice has a tiny bit of sweetness, a teeny tiny trace of sourness, and also has some flavor. Hmm. And some interesting aftertaste, which I think comes. Does it come from the skin? Hmm. No, it actually seems to come from the flesh. Let's try this one. Mm -hmm. The unripe one has a little bit more sourness, but still less sourness than your average orange or mandarin. Not, not sweet, not sour, just bland. But here, the stuff doesn't end. Actually, when I opened this stuff, the first thing I noticed was a smell smell of the skin actually that's that's how it almost started first the strange looks and then the smell the smell is of bergamot or of buddha's hand very strange i mean you find buddha's hand here on the islands i've never seen bergamot but i guess maybe it will grow somewhere bergamot and buddha's hand are citrus fruit which don't have a lot of flavor uh, no sorry which don't have a lot of juicy pulp but they have a lot of smell in the skin actually the skin is quite sweet and yeah aromatic this is by far not as aromatic as a buddha's hand but let's try the skin hmm. not very bitter not very astringent no the taste of the skin ah the aftertaste is pretty bitter so the taste of the skin is not very strange, but the smell of the skin is like Buddha Sant or Bergamot. And you know what the taste of the fruit reminds me of? Of the sweet Persian lemon. Well, nobody can agree what the sweet Persian lemon actually is, but Persia is quite far away from the Canary Islands. I wonder if somebody introduced sweet Persian lemon and it crisscrossed, it hybridized with some other citrus here. Or if this is just some random hybrid, maybe between limes and mandarins. I mean, mm, yeah, they are flat like mandarins. Well, I guess the answer is quite difficult. And uh, a lot of, in a lot of citrus fruit, even in modern citrus fruit, nobody knows where they actually came from. Nobody knows exactly what they hybridized from. I mean, even those things, lemons, mandarins, limes, oranges and so on oh sorry for the plastic bag those are all hybrids hybrids that sometimes happen thousands of years and those citrus fruit they continue hybridizing at as i said in the beginning so even a lot of the new varieties on the world market or they are yeah they are marketed basically as new species they are often nobody knows exactly what they what the parents are so this here well if they remember where the <clears throat> seeds for this tree come from, maybe they know one parent. Probably the, maybe the mother was a lime. But you cannot be sure where the pollen came from. Could have well come from a, from a mandarin. Could have come from a lemon because this bump here, I have never seen it on a mandarin. This is more typical of a lime or even a lemon. Yeah. Really strange and amazing. Hmm. Nice and aromatic fruit with mild juice. I mean, mm. this could be a thing for people who like citrus fruit but don't like them citrus fruit taste so much because this stuff is quite bland. Yeah, a tiny bit of sweetness, a tiny bit of sourness, a tiny bit of citrus flavor, but basically. A citrus juice for people who don't like citrus too much. It could also be incredibly healthy. In Iran, in Persia, the sweet lemon is being used as a medicine. 
because the vitamin C content and content of other healthy things is not uh, is not so dependent of the sour taste. So citrus fruit with almost no trace of sourness can still be very healthy. So this could be a particularly healthy new citrus or maybe not. I don't know if it's hmm, if I should suggest it for future cultivation I mean it's really bland I think they are better mild oranges or mild grapefruits or pomelos for mild citrus juice yeah, it's quite aromatic but bergamot or buddha scent are more aromatic I'll put those in my room and I think they will perfume it for a week or so until they rot I don't know it's definitely interesting I could imagine this being an interesting um, citrus for collectors I don't think it will be very successful on the big market but very interesting fruit so folks please tell me what's your opinion what is this thing what do you think it could be useful for for its aromatic skin or for its mild juice Tell me, just hit me with your opinion. Apart from that, stay tuned from the very beautiful and sometimes storm-ridden island of Gran Canaria. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.